So today I am going to be reacting to Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Gervonta Tank Davis. Now this is going to be very different because I am not into professional boxing, right? And I know these boxing purists are going to come in and be like, oh, why not? And I've got something else to add fuel to the fire. I do watch boxing, but only influencer boxing. And you can say what you want, but as a guy that has been, you know, a part of the, the, the YouTube scene for a long time now, I love when fellow YouTubers go to war in the boxing ring. There are some amazing matchups pretty much every month with the Misfits and the Zone X series. But this is going to be different because it is the pros. This is going to just look different, feel different. There will be way more skill, way more technique. And everyone that I know is saying that Ryan Garcia will win. So the fight has already happened. There was no way I was staying up till 5am to watch two guys that I don't even know box, right? I know it's probably it's probably a, the biggest fight of the year or something like that. But it's just not for me, alright? Not yet at least. But one day at a time, I'm getting more and more into boxing, you know? And especially with all this influencer stuff, it's making me want to see what the pros are actually like. So we're going to see what happened here. We're going to see if Ryan won because everyone said that Ryan Garcia would win. So I'm very, very, you know, I'm, I'm expecting a lot from Ryan Garcia. I don't know much about Gervonta Davis, but he must be very good as well if he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this dude. So we're going to watch the fight highlights just, not the full fight because that's like an hour long or something. And that'll be way too long for the video and it'll get copyrighted, no doubt. So... We're gonna see the highlights and we're gonna see what happened. Let's go. I'm excited for this. Showtime, pay per view. Oh, look at this. All right, so 28 24. He's a bit taller, Ryan Garcia. They're both pretty small, though. And they are in the lightweight division. They both, well, 135 and a half pounds and 135 pounds for Javante Davis. They're very, very close in weight. It seems, it's actually weird to think that I weigh more than both of them. I'm 137 the last time I checked, but I wouldn't think that I weigh more than this too. Look at his arms! 67 and a half inch reach, and then 70 inch reach for Ryan Garcia. They are very, very similar in the stats, so... Interesting. Very even matchup. Gervonta is 28, so he's a bit old. Maybe that's gonna play a part, you know, memory loss and whatever. Is there a championship, by the way? Or is this just... Just a fight? Just a big fight feel? And if not, then who is the lightweight division champion? Is it called the Lightweight Championship? I guess it would be, but who holds that title? So yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how these fighters move since they are professionals. Ryan Garcia definitely looks more in control here. Oh! 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 Davis has to go into that clinch. Oh, but Ryan's breaking out of it. That's something I don't see often as well. Usually when fighters go into a clinch, the referee comes in and breaks it up, but Ryan could actually fight out of it there. Oh, he's missing shots here though, and again... Nice evasion from, oh, oh, and just like that, Davis cracks him with an uppercut. Ryan was getting very aggressive there as well, so I thought he was, you know, definitely going to be the one to do more damage, but he was missing his shots there. Gervonta did well to avoid them, and then came back with a big one of his own to put Ryan on his ass. So he answers the count, he's fine. Yeah, there's no way he's going out in round two, not a chance. 12 rounds, by the way, holy shit. But wait, so it's 12 three minute rounds, right? What is that in total? How long are they actually fighting? 12 times 3. I should be doing that in my head. I mean, it would have been... I would go 11 times 3, 33, and then 36, yeah. <laughs> so 36 minutes of boxing in total. That's unreal. When it comes to the influencer boxing, I think the highest I've seen is like 6 rounds. Maybe 8. I think Jake Paul does 8 rounds. But he's a little bit higher than like, you know, the, the average influencer. I think most influencer boxing matches are 4 rounds. So to see a 12 round bite here, that must be crazy. There's so much time there for, you know, some big shots to be landed. And they've got to just have the cardio and the stamina to last the full 12 if needs be. That's crazy. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Back him up into the corner. Oh! He didn't really do much though. That was a good chance, but Gervonta got out of that pretty quickly. Oh my. He's stepping up to the challenge now. Starting to be a bit more aggressive here. <gasps> you see how quick that is? Oh! What? What the hell happened? Is he getting up? No! Oh! My god! I don't even know what happened! So it's around 7. TKO! For Gervonta Davis? Yo, that's crazy that he couldn't even get up from that. 
Was there it? it is. The strike. Is that it? The body shot? Garcia just yeah. Couldn't sustain wow. Now, looking at that from someone who doesn't box, right? That doesn't look like it would stop the fight. But body shots, I know, can be lethal. And they might not even look it on camera. Now, I did kickboxing back in the day, so I do know what it's like to get the wind taken out of you, right? Like, body shots can be nasty. That just Quick sick feeling of, like, oh. well timed, right, Yeah, you right see, it doesn't look that boom, crazy. Triangle. But it must have had enough power to really affect Ryan Garcia. Because he had to take a knee, and he could not get up from that. So you know it's bad. Position yeah, there's a chance, and then just wallops him one. Oh, that's a better angle for sure. I'm telling you, like, see, especially in influencer boxing, the thing is, like, everyone wants those fancy knockouts, you know? They want to crack their opponent across the chops, but body shots are just nasty, right? So they can be even more effective than cracking them across the chops. But what a performance from Gervonta Davis. I never expected him to be that good. I thought we'd definitely be talking about how Ryan performed, but in all honesty, from the highlights, Ryan didn't do too much. He didn't cause too many problems for Gervonta Davis, so yeah, unreal performance from Gervonta Davis.